Welcome to SA Rugby Legends TV. We return to the Principality of Monaco for part two of the SA Monaco Rugby Exchange Program, coordinated by Sala in association with the Princess Charlene of Monaco Foundation. As part of the exchange, Sala, with the support of the South African Rugby Union, brought along Sevens Rugby experts, Neil Powell, the Blitzbocker coach, and Maria Skuman, Saru's manager of the Sevens Academy and elite player development for Sevens Rugby. They not only spent time working with the youngsters on tour, but held a training session with the Monaco Sevens Rugby team. We've got principles in attack and defence and tonight we're just going to focus on two of our principles in, in defence. Hopefully they can use that uh, in the tournaments to come and uh, then definitely the coaches as well, not just for the players, but to, to, to empower the coaches by developing them as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to leave some of our information uh, behind for them and hopefully they can use it, you know, just to better themselves. Oh, it's an incredible opportunity for us to be able to, uh, to learn from the, well, the best <laughs> today. And um, it's great to, well, for the, to be able to share with them what we've done even though obviously at a different level, different tier, but uh, tonight we did a little bit of defence work because last year we came up one level, so we've encountered different style of sevens, so now we need to learn to play a lot harder, more aggressive defence as well. Rugby in the Principality is a growing sport, especially sevens rugby. And whilst they don't play in the major leagues, the team is keen to learn as much as they can from Neil and Marius. It's all about structure for us and principles, and if you can maybe install a bit of structure and principle into their game, I think it's something that they will help them a lot when they get into their games. And I think um, obviously they only train once or twice a week, and, and I think if you can get those structures um, imprinted in, in, their, in their game plan and their patterns, then I think you will do very well. And it's a, it's a lot more physical now, so if they can bring the physicality and they can get a bit of structure, I think they will, they will do well in, the, in their league. With their newfound knowledge, here's wishing the Monaco Sevens team all the very best for the future. We wish Monaco Rugby uh, well on all the endeavours in the future, all the tournaments, and, and, and hopefully we, uh, we can be involved in the future again next year or in the years to come, you know, and, and build a great relationship uh, between Monaco, France, and the South African Rugby, uh, rugby Legends and the South African Rugby Union. Neil's job wasn't quite over after the clinic. He also spent time sharing strategies and game plans with the coaches of the under-12 teams participating in the San Devote rugby tournament. When visiting a foreign country, the hosts provide a team liaison to facilitate and host the visitors. In the case of the tour to Monaco, that task was given to Gareth Whitstock, the brother of Princess Charlene, who's also involved with the Monarchesque Rugby Federation and the Princesses Foundation. Yeah, I must say, I think you can see the smile on my face when you mentioned uh, Count Gareth's name. It's been wonderful. From all the liaison officers we ever had in our uh, touring the world, he must be one of the top two. Yeah, he's, uh, he's absolutely been great. Every day, he's uh, at our hotel at 8 o'clock and uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's making it special. He's really going out of his way to, uh, to make it special for us, to make, it, to make us remember the strip, and uh, hopefully we can repay him in some, uh, in some way in the years to come. The center of our tournament has been going for five years, and uh, the Princess Charlene Foundation has uh, been on board for two years now. With the center of it's not really exposed right now, but with the, the support of Sala and the, the South African Union, and they, when I got a phone call from Gavin Bridges uh, saying that we're going to send a team of Rugby 7 coaches over here, I promise you I was over the moon and so is my sister. He's walking on the cement. Yeah. Yes, today. He certainly made a big impression on the under-12s from Orchards Primary. Besides the rugby, arranging a variety of fun activities over and above the formal parts of the tour. A big highlight was the chance to go for a drive in a sports car on the famed Monaco Grand Prix circuit, which would, in a few weeks' time, play host to the 2015 edition of the Formula One event. Any boy's dream, young or old, come true in a fitting way to end their Monaco adventure before preparing to come home. On their return home, the boys who had represented not only their school but their country so impeccably were given some further assistance for their school's rugby program in the form of a cheque for 100,000 Rand, which was handed to them by Sala President Gavin Varigis on behalf of Sala, Saru,
the Wings of Change Foundation and the Princess Charlene of Monaco Foundation. Who was the, 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 the most valuable player? Who was the man of the match? Please, please. Uh, these apart from coming back with a great big trophy and playing their hearts out, they were without doubt the winners of everybody's heart in Monaco. And, you know, to come back to South Africa, we want to have some kind of continuity. So we've brought them a check for 100,000 Rand, which they will use uh, for further development of, of, of different programs and projects for coaching initiatives. So, you know, it's just wonderful to be able to back guys who have this, this absolute passion for rugby and for going out there and, and supporting our country and just being the best that they can be. We touch a lot of people's lives and we touch a lot of kids' lives, but to have something sustainable in place, to go back and again and again to a school, to a coaching clinic, to an area, and to not only uplift the kids, but also uplift the community. And that's what we're doing here today, and that's what we continue to do with Orchards Primary in Johannesburg. Monaco was a fantastic experience for, for us and especially the boys. And this gesture from, from uh, South African rugby legends and Kevin Verigis uh, coming here to hand it over uh, personally, what a gesture and, and we really appreciate it. We are definitely going to use this um, to develop and, and, and uh, use it for the boys, especially to enhance their, their, their education here at the school. I'm really chuffed about uh, the fact that Orchards Primary are, are, are blessed to receive this from South African rugby legends. The funds will go a long way to building on the legacy created as a result of the South Africa Monaco Rugby Exchange Programme set up by Sala and the Princess Charlene of Monaco Foundation and will assist in developing rugby at the school even further. This is a very important part of Sala's mission to be able to nurture, foster and help grow the game at all levels. Thanks once again to Her Serene Highness Princess Charlene of Monaco Gareth Whitstock, the Foundation and all the people of Monaco who welcomed Sala and the team into their Principality for an incredible tour. Later this year, Sala will host a tour of under 16 players from Monaco who will travel to South Africa. We look forward to hosting the team and returning the amazing hospitality.